Do you know what spinning objects and batteries have in common? Any ideas? Did you know that we can use spinning objects to store energy? We do this using something called a flywheel. The concept of a flywheel is pretty straightforward. Think of a potter's wheel. A rotating disc stores energy generated by the potter's hands spinning the wheel, or a foot pumping a pedal, which keeps the wheel turning at a steady rate even if the potter stops propelling the wheel. The energy is stored in the wheel as motion called kinetic energy. So what does the flywheel look like? Flywheels are like mechanical batteries. We charge them when we have extra electrical energy. For example, if it's a really sunny day and our solar panels are producing more electricity than we're using, we can use that extra electricity to spin our flywheel. An electrical motor is used to speed up the flywheel, the charging process. When electricity is needed again, the same motor is used as a generator to produce electricity that we can use when the sun is not shining. Isn't that amazing? Using spinning to store electricity. Now I think it's time that we try some revolutionary experiments. We have two activities for you to try at home. Making your own spinning top and a rather messy craft. Are you ready? Have you ever seen a spinning top before? Let's give it a try. Here are the materials you need to make your top. A hot glue gun. Careful, this might be hot. Pieces of cardboard, scissors, a wooden dowel, marbles, and some markers. Step one is to cut out a circle in the cardboard, like this. Now you want to decorate this. Take any markers and draw any design you want on your top. On the bottom of the circle, the side that isn't colored, you want to glue a marble. Again, remember, your hot glue gun is hot. We're going to glue it right there. Now we're going to flip it over. And on the other side, you're going to take a little piece of wooden dowel like this, about an inch long. And you're gonna put glue on the end and stick it straight up like this. Now we have to let it dry. Let's give it a whirl. You can experiment with lots of different things. Different sizes of circles or the pattern you draw on it. What about the size of the marble? Keep designing your top and try and make the best one you can. Try thinking like an engineer. What makes the top spin the fastest? What makes the top spin the longest? Keep experimenting. Congrats on making your top. Now it's time for our messy experiment. First, you need to meet our artist. So remember, I said this is a rather messy experiment. So you should do this outside or somewhere that's really easy to clean up. And you might want to wear clothes you don't mind getting dirty. Final thing, remember to get an adult's permission before starting. Let's go. We are going to make spinning paintings. Here's what you're going to need. A salad spinner, but remember to ask permission first before using this. Washable paint, coffee filters, tape, and also a spoon or a paintbrush, something to get the paint out of the jar and onto your surface. Place your coffee filter at the bottom of the salad spinner and add lots of tape to make sure it's secure. Now drip paint all over it. The more the better. Shut your salad spinner. Make sure it's securely closed or this could get messy. Now spin. The salad spinner works by spinning the basket inside very quickly. When there is wet lettuce in there, it causes water to fly to the outside of the spinner and off the lettuce, giving us drier lettuce. The centrifugal force is causing the paint to move outwards from where we placed it. Let your coffee filter dry, like this one here, and then hang them up. Remember to clean up your mess once you're finished. Thank you for exploring spinning with us today and learning all about flywheels. 
Keep exploring the energy all around you and we'll see you next time. Bye.